Hi, kindergarten students. Um, today we're going to uh, learn about Navajo rugs and a little bit about the Native Americans who made the patterns and um, what the rugs look like and the patterns and the rugs. So today um, I'm going to present my screen and um, since around Thanksgiving time, uh, Native Americans were people that were here before anybody came to America. <clears throat> we're going to learn a little bit about their art and their culture. Okay, so I'm going to present my screen to you guys. And um, you're going to see my screen now. Okay, so we're going to watch a little uh, video of uh, a lady making a Navajo rug. So you can see her, um, behind her is the rug that she is making. And she's doing something called weaving, where she's taking the yarn and she's putting it um, between those um, pieces of yarn, the white pieces that are running vertically, and she's weaving a pattern. That little wooden broom thing helps to put bring the yarn all the way down in the weaving. Now she's putting the yarn through the weaving. Okay, and then let's look at some um, Native American rugs. There's a couple videos here as well, some stories about Native American <coughs> rugs as well. And here's a couple of uh, the rugs. If you notice the patterns in them, look at the triangle shapes, the, the uh, stripes there. So especially if you look at this one, if we see the diamond, a pattern is something that's repeated. So we have a diamond, 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 diamond. Then we can see a uh, rectangle, diamond, rectangle, diamond, rectangle, diamond. And we can even see repeated colors. Okay, so we see the orange, black, orange, black, orange, and there's a blue. So there, it's a repetition of different shapes or colors is a pattern. Look at that one with the diamonds. There's four diamonds that are repeated. You can see the diamond in that one. Look at the repeated um, line there of kind of that um, angle line right there. Kind of looks like an arrow or something. You can see the buffalo. Sometimes they would have pictures in there. So they would use these rugs for a blanket. They might put them over their horse. They might cover themselves up. And they would use it for some kind of blanket. Okay, great. So that's a little bit about the Navajo rugs. And now we're going to do a little bit of drawing together. So we're going to draw together a little bit and um, we're going to make some patterns on our paper. Okay, so here's my paper right here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna draw some patterns on that paper. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with more of a vertical on my paper. So using my pencil, I'm gonna make a few patterns. So let's say I make a triangle and a square and a triangle and a square and a triangle and a square. So that's a pattern because I'm doing triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square. And then I can, I'm just gonna make a line across there and I'm gonna make another pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go this. I'm gonna make a zigzag line going this way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a line across it. 
And maybe I'll make three diamonds. There's one, two, and then there's three. So I'm going to make three diamonds that way. And then maybe I'll repeat another pattern like the zigzag line. I'll repeat that. This almost looks like a rug if you notice it. it looks like one of those rugs. I'm going to go di uh, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square. Take a look at those patterns that I'm making. Then I'll think I'll do the three diamonds. Diamond, diamond, and another diamond. Once you figure out, you can do your own patterns on your paper, and you can make your own shapes that look like patterns. And then if you have markers, crayons, colored pencils, something like that, um, Think of a couple colors or some colors that you'd like to make yours. So let's say I were to do triangle. Or maybe all my triangles here are orange. So orange triangle. And then I'm going to do a blue square. So blue square, orange triangle. So there are my squares. And then you could finish coloring it could go all the way down and color in your patterns and your shapes all the way down your paper. And then you'd have a nice looking pattern and Native American rug. Okay, everybody, thanks for drawing with me today and doing some Navajo rugs. Um, keep on drawing this week, and I hope you have a great time doing this lesson, and I'll see you again virtually next week for another lesson.